Scorpio, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson. Welcome to Jen TV. I've literally just connected with my higher self, so let's see where the cards take us. All right. Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readers, so it's not going to resonate with all of you, but if it does, take a look in the description box below the link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. I am having a little experiment with mini readings. I've, I, I was struggling with regular readings, just not having the... because I, I tend to take a long time doing them, so I'm, I'm giving an experiment with mini readings. So uh, I put a post up in my community. Posts. And uh, if you want to try a mini reading with me, Scorpio, let's take a look. What guides have got the Scorpio? Please and love. I get you. I get you, Scorpio. Your overall vibes are nine of wands. That's probably going to end up being my <laughs> my my thumbnail. So yeah, let's look cute in the thumbnail. Nine of wands. This is about you setting boundaries. You've been hurt. Who hasn't? This is about you setting boundaries now. The cause of it, temperance. I kind of feel like this is you backing off and saying, nah, I'm st I, I got boundaries now. You're not gonna, you're not gonna cross me. You're not gonna hurt me. You're looking for wavy red flags. And if you dip a toe into dating or you're in a relationship, you're this is this is you saying, I'm taking this slowly. What you need to know right now, and what's st standing out here is this little doggy here, loyalty. Loyalty, what well, well, back? And it means a lot to, sorry, that's my dishwasher. It's very noisy, my dishwasher at the moment. It's beeping at me. Yes, I need to put salt in it, I know. <sighs> Loyalty means a lot to pretty much everybody. But I get it why it means a lot to you. The bottom of the deck here is justice. And in the past, in your life, you, you've been, you've been screwed over. And that's why you're taking it slow. That's why you're not letting anybody in who's rushing you. This is you being stable and secure and balancing your life out now you balancing your life out nobody's bringing balance to you you're doing it but loyalty paramount to you you got the balance there as well the justice tell me more about what you need to know right now why is the queen of pentacles here Uh, yeah, I don't quite know how to say this without, uh... So, you're too mature for this crap that they're putting your way. I'm not saying you're too old. This is why I don't know how to say it. You're not too old, babe. You're not too old. Just chill, right? I'm not saying that. Just saying you, you've matured enough to the point where you're like, 
what's this adolescent crap? I'm all putting up with this playground stuff. But shall we get like adults now? That's that's the way it was before. This is one of the reasons why your your boundaries are high now. And I kind of get the feeling. There's like, there's a little part of you that hopes, but it's, it's, like, it's like a grain of sand, this, this part of you that hopes. This is a person who, you're not going to let them in now until they're playing right, until they're playing the, the grown-up game. The game they're playing right now, You're not having any part of it. And that's good. You got this is just a tiny speck of dust of hope that they might pull their pull themselves together. Tell me about the Queen of Wands in reverse. It's an obstacle. We're not talking about it. Oh, I see. We're not talking about this obstacle, are we? I kind of see you say, I'm not. No, no, no. Well, no, no. If, if, you, if this is still going on, no, no, no. No, 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 no. I feel like there's two different roads here. If this is somebody who's in a relationship, And you're trying to take it slow, move forwards. This is this is somebody who got in the way. Midlife crisis. It's for some of you. This is odd. For for some of you, this is a uh, one of their family members who uh, rules over them and they are too weak to um they've no backbone they're too weak to stand up for themselves that's only uh, that's going to be for one person in particular i think let me know in the comments below it's just a teensy bit the rest is sort of this is somebody's midlife crisis and they're playing around with someone else. For single people, this is somebody you already know, and uh, they're they're playing playground games with you, and you're not having any of it anymore. They're like, oh, I don't know about you or them. I don't know what to do. You kind of hope that they're gonna pull themselves together, but. I would say keep your boundaries up and uh, if you keep your boundaries up, this is my advice in this situation, if you keep your boundaries up and don't let this person in, you're, you're good for karma. Your karma's not going to mess with you. They can't make their mind up what they want. That's on them. Why is the Emperor here for what's coming up? It's good. It's good. You staying in your power brings you love with somebody who's stable and secure. Is that them? The person who's been messing you around? You're still hopeful that it's them. You still want it to be them. You still feel the loss. But there's, you know, if you stop thinking about what you've lost with them, 
there's with the five of cups here there is something in your future to look forward to i don't think it's them i don't think it's them scorpio honestly i think that if you stay in your power and keep your boundaries stick to your boundaries and don't let this person cross your boundaries I sort of see them trying to come in and, and be intimate with you. But it's just a game and they'll go back. If they've done it before, they'll do it again. But this time it's different, baby. I mean it this time. No, I'm going back. There's a reason. It's a really important reason why I have to go back. They need me. The moon. This is about. Well, take a look at the moon. If the moon didn't have the sun, it would just be a dark rock in the sky. The moon takes its light from the sun, so that's just an illusion, isn't it? And that's what the moon is. It's just an illusion in the sky. It's, it's, otherwise, it's just a dark old rock, isn't it? But then, so are we. I don't know, I just think you, you and this person from the past, it's not real. It's not real anymore. There's a little part of you that hopes for it, but it's, it's just not a reality anymore. I feel like you staying in your power and your, your nine of pentacles, that's you moving forward to meeting somebody who's on your level a grown-up best you can hope for for once a grown-up a grown-up relationship this is you I, this is not always a bad card Seven of Swords. It's not always a terrible card. It's not always like, I'm robbing you. I'm taking these swords and I'm getting away with it. It's not always that. It's like, mm, I'm happy. And all of the crap is behind me. And I am. I'm getting away with it. I'm, I'm happy. I'm moving forwards and, and good things are happening. It's awesome. And maybe if I just sneak through it, Nobody will notice and I'll just uh, keep being happy. So that's you. What's coming up? The person in your life. This is the Ace of Pentacles. Wish fulfillment. Manifestation. New beginning. New beginning. The person from the past who you've been back and forth, back and forth that's that's done you've got to stay in your power though and not let them keep having their way i'm going to take this into the extended in a minute i'm going to read the outcome here i'm going to take this into extended where i'm going to ask about this person from the past or the now what's going this it's going on now i'm going to ask about them I'm going to ask how they really feel about you. Where are you in their heart space? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you? And some guidance from the universe. There's some oracle cards too. But let's take a look at this. Why is the page of cups in reverse here for the outcome? I, I sort of feel like that in a way without looking at the rest of the cards and I'm still kind of looking at that one and we've got a page of pentacles in reverse on top of it. Uh, it, it this is somebody who, the outcome with this person, this is somebody who's got a lot of this and not a lot of action. 
it's it's a it was a karmic connection you've learned something from this your souls learned from something from this and i sort of feel like it's kind of your decision isn't it you could keep watering a plant that's dead flogging a dead horse or you can move on This, this person's always going to be a lot of that. Not much else going on. Let's see the love lyric. All I can do by the cars. One of my favourite songs. And once in a moment, it all comes to you. As soon as you get it, you want something new. That's them. That's exactly what they're doing. They they want you in the moment, and then they get you, and then they don't want you anymore. A time to give rather than take. I won't be giving to this sucker. Hell no. A time to give rather than take. Give him a bit of that. Give him the heave ho. Yeah, this is definitely what I'm getting out of this. Give him the, give him, tell him to sling the hook. Give him that knight of pentacles that you are, that strength and say, no, mate. I'm not taking you back. I'm giving you the heave ho. All right, I'm going to take this into extended. See you later.